I do specifically uh, African-based modern furniture. I'm originally from Ethiopia via Kenya. I make mostly chairs and stools. You know, you ask any furniture designer, the most challenging thing they can design is a chair. I want to rise to the challenge and respond to it. People are always looking for that unique piece. There's a whole new line of things that we can introduce to the home decor business that people are not paying attention to. Or when you say Africa, all they could think of is a mask and an animal print. Me, others from the continent, others here, want to change that perception. It's my story. It's the story I want to tell through the objects that I create. I do the initial prototypes within this garage that you see. All the current machines that I have is really for wood and that is what I can get in here and work with within the limited time window I have to prototype. The Niala chair, that's the one that has been getting a lot of traction. That's a Niala, it's a beautiful animal. Those horns were the inspiration for the chair. It is probably one of the most challenging chairs that I've designed. The most difficult part is the backrest and the armrest. It takes about five pieces to put it together. It is so craftily done, you barely notice one part of it, uh, the top part of the backrest, because we slice and glue that together uh, through my builder, uh, David Bonhoff, who, who works on this. We are building Jemo's signature chair, uh, Nyala. So the first thing I do is I need to flatten this board out. So now I've created a, a block of wood from that rough chunk that has two flat faces that are parallel to one another and a square edge. So I can pretty much do whatever I want to this block at this point. I'm going to now uh, lay out my rough shape and start making uh, a few cuts to create the armrest for the Naya chair. What I just did was created the joint for the armrest and now we'll make some cuts to start shaping out the armrest section. I usually use three different patterns, my basic block, my inside curve, and then my outside curve. For right now, all I'm really dealing with is the inside curve. And you can see that I have that angle here, here. So I know where to line the pattern up. So this is the taper of the uh, arm. So we're taking more off here and less off over here. And then back to the bandsaw and we'll cut that curve in. The relationship I have with my builders, especially David, uh, the, the chair needed a highly uh, experienced craftsperson to work on it. Like I said, the armrests are hand carved. He wanted to build the whole thing. He didn't want parts coming from here or there. Okay, so once I have my Naya horn shaped, joined, and glued to my structure, I use various tools to get it roughed in. One is my little mini angle grinder, which is a very aggressive tool and it'll do the major rough shaping in. probably takes three to five days to finish one chair. I have noticed what my objects do emotionally to other people of color. I thought I was just selling or trying to introduce chairs. I never thought people would get emotional about a piece done by a black designer. The, the biggest bottleneck, especially for black designers in the industry, is access, uh, capital, getting the exposure you need as a designer. I've been in the game for 20-something years and attending trade shows. Multiple times, I, you know, I will be one of three, one of two, or the only one at these events. So it's um, more than 
just design. We go back to us not being in design books. You know, I, I enjoy a design book like every other designer. I purchase them. I go through it, but I don't see myself in there. And when I say me, it's not me personally. I love all good design. It's just that I don't want to be doing one more of the same thing. I don't want to be doing another Scandinavian or mid-modern style furniture. I don't want to be that person. While I have an extremely rich heritage and culture that I, that I can build my design expression on. So now I have my shape pretty well dialed in and um, it's a bunch of hand sanding from here and then duplicating this shape to the other side, which, you know, I have a piece to, to look at while I do the other side. And that pretty much is the sculptural part of how I make all of these forms are all done in the same fashion. That's where all my passion comes from. I, I make these things. I love how people who look like me react to it, bringing it to the market. Is it challenging? It's extremely challenging. And that's why it took 20 something years to get here. I, I think culture and heritage plays a huge role in design. And it cannot be a 100% ergonomic chair that is so refined it means nothing. I'm not interested in that. It helps me connect and tell my story my way. So I, I love that part.